welcome back to our four by four travels. Join us as we travel to the Eastern Cape and visit and explore the beautiful Morgan Bay. Come along and enjoy the journey. On the road again at the most fantastic time at Nziki Pan, Trish Louie. Now on our way to Cockstead and from Cockstead probably to Morgan's Bay. Now 40 odd k's away from Cookstead, where we're going to spend the night and leave at 5 tomorrow morning for Mtata. For Mtata, probably Morgan's Bay. It's five o'clock, we're on the road, just driving out from where we step the night. It is so beautiful, the mountains and the clouds in the background, absolutely exquisite. view from our campsite. Just a little bit windy today and temperatures a bit cool. Apparently this was full of water and Monday this uh, river broke through and now it's open through to the ocean.
Dunes, just around the corner where those dunes are. And then this is along the beach or the seafront road. And the sea's a little bit wild this morning and breaking against the bloop over there. And we're going to be taking a drive somewhere around the back of that into a nature reserve. Right, so we are at the lookout point at Double Mouth Nature Reserve. This is looking back towards Morgan Bay. And just around the corner of the bluff is where the hotel and the campsite is situated. This is a very spectacular lookout point and well worth the visit. Right, and so looking from the other side of the lookout point, looking towards Haga Haga, which is in the distance, I will try and pan in there just now. But looking down there, there's another, it's where the campsite is, called Double Mouth Campsite, which we'll be visiting shortly. And right in the distance is Haga Haga. The zoom in probably won't be so great, but you can get an idea of the distance. And there's a superb hiking trail all the way along the coast here and ending up at Haga Haga. Push. <sighs> I have to try and get this gate open. I'm watching that Brahmin very carefully. I know Brahmins. We don't mess with them. Double Mouth campsite. It looks very interesting. Oh, actually, looks beautiful. And so, this is Double Mouth campsite. A lovely surprise. Very nice campsites, all grassed, lovely shady trees, all have electrical points. There are two ablution blocks here as well. Um, absolutely amazing there's nobody here, although I do believe sometimes on weekends it gets very full. There's no beach, just rocks, but I believe this is a fisherman's paradise. So if you don't like the hustle and bustle of the more popular campsite at Morgan Bay, give this one a try. Storm at the moment. We've battened everything down and we sit in our little tent staring through a hole through the door. And so the campsites at Morgan Bay are actually very nice but very, very close together. And as you can see, it's getting very packed up now that the weekend is approaching 
So, if you don't mind a crowded space, great, great place to be. The pollutions are brand new, they're fabulous. Um, so, I can recommend this campsite, but if you want more quiet and privacy, then go on to Double Mouth, which we will talk about in this video as well. We're just going for our early morning walk. I'm going over to the beach, just down the lagoon. Yeah, the temperature is not bad. Beautiful Saturday morning, the sun is out, it's warm, just a gentle breeze blowing, really lovely. And all the locals are out today and they're all really enjoying the, the water here in the estuary. And there's a couple of ski board, uh, what do you call them, uh, wave riders out there. And really nice and it's so nice to see the whole community, the locals, all enjoying themselves together. This Morgan's Bay is actually really wonderful. So, even in the area, this is well worth the visit. Beautiful energy, beautiful place, but really nice, friendly people. Yep, good place. And if we have said it, it can be a little bit crowded here. It is a little bit more crowded in the camp spot for the weekend. Um, but if you want more privacy, then there's Double Bay, uh, du what's it? Double Mouth. Uh, very nice, but there is no beach there, it's just rocks. But uh, also really worthwhile visiting. In part 11 we travel to the beautiful wilderness and stay at Sand Park's ebb and flow. So come along and enjoy the journey with us.